Institutions are growing increasingly bullish on Bitcoin, and it is only set to rise. With increasing interest from the European Central Bank and also the Federal Reserve, what's next for Bitcoin and for crypto in general? Where will it all go? Will it all go to new all-time high territories, or will it just disappear and plateau into the distance? I'll be covering VeChain, Chainlink, Bitcoin, Polkadot, and many more in today's video. So stick around and join the CryptoBusy community. Subscribe today. We aim to reach 40,000 subscribers by the end of this month. And the reason why we set that target is because we want to create something of value here. We want to create something that we wish we had access to when we started out in cryptocurrency. And by subscribing, by liking our videos, by commenting down below and interacting with us, that solidifies within us that we're doing something at least correct here. So make sure that you subscribe today and join the CryptoBusy community. There's a lot to cover in today's video. It's quite interesting to see what's happening with Bitcoin at the moment. I'll just drop down into Luna Crush real quick to just break down the market and what's happening. It's interesting times. We are seeing a bullish sentiment at the moment in my eyes. You see that right now the social sentiment is 72.3% bullish on Luna Crush. It's a great resource to use. We like to use it as well. Bitcoin has just gone past that $10,600 region. And you also see Ethereum is around that $370 region. Now, if we go on to the Bitcoin dominance, it's risen slightly. You can see here it's around 56%. And that is because of the recent surge in Bitcoin price compared to what it was a few days ago. I think a few days ago, it was around the $10,000 region. And that is because of, you know, just sort of general interest and loss of interest in the market in the short term. In the long term, I do think there's a lot of interest happening with Bitcoin. So this is the first article I want to go through is institutions are growing increasingly bullish on Bitcoin following drop to $10,000. And that is because a lot of people want to have their own entry into Bitcoin itself. And a lot of people at play, a lot of powers at play that want to make sure that they get into the right position. There are a lot of people out there that want to make sure that they suppress the price of Bitcoin to get in at the right time. It's quite interesting. It's quite annoying at sometimes at some points as well, but it is what it is and it's the world that we live in. So that being said, the latest commitment of traders COT reports from the CME shows that while retail investors are increasing their short exposure to the benchmark crypto, institutions are flipping long for the first time in a long time. And that is a good position to be in. And as I said previously, there's a lot of institutional interest. And also there's a similar sentiment to what 2020 is right now compared to 2017. I don't know if you guys were around in 2017 when it comes to crypto, but it was an interesting year. There's a lot of hype, there's a lot of institutional interest, and that sort of added exposure of Bitcoin and crypto to the masses did help Bitcoin go over to new all-time high territories back then of around $20,000. And in my opinion, that is only set to rise. There's more hype, there's more institutional interest, and that is a great position to be in right now. Now with that, you've got to have a level mindset as I keep on going on about. It's a marathon, it's not a 100 meter sprint. So that's what you gotta make sure that you keep in mind as well. Also make sure that you follow us on Twitter. We are gonna be doing a giveaway and the giveaway is, is that we're going to be giving away not one, not two, but three positions on our VIP coin calls. This is on our Patreon and it's a great resource for everyone can use. It's $30 a month, including VAT, and you get access to our VRB group where we provide multiple trading setups and potential coin breakouts each month. To join the giveaway and enter, you must be subscribed. You must comment down below your best crypto investment and why. And you also must follow Josh on Instagram and myself, Tom, on Twitter, which is right here. So I'll leave that all linked down in the description below so you can check it out for yourselves. But that's the giveaway. Make sure that you also join our VIP coin calls. It's an interesting time right now. So the bullish pennant hints at Bitcoin price breakout to $11,300. This is again, interesting stuff to see. And we also did cover this in our webinar with our Patreon members. So it's also good stuff there to see as well. And that does also tie in with Josh's technical analysis on Bitcoin which at the moment is at a good position to be in right now. So we are eyeing up to see Bitcoin go into the $11,300 region. Now, speaking of institutional interest, this video is brought to you by Cypherium. It's an interesting project, it's enterprise ready blockchain, and they are ready to go on their public token sale. The registration for the token sale is now open. Deposits will be accepted from the 16th to the 23rd of September. And this is their public sale, a decentralized smart contract platform for creating and connecting CBDC enterprise applications, apps, and digital assets. Now, if you don't know about Cypherium, Cypherium has strong partnerships. We've also talked about this before in previous videos. When we look at a project, we look at its team, we look at its partnerships, we also look at its technology as well, and also its roadmap. And Cypherium ticks all those boxes. So Cypherium has partnered with leading companies like Google, Microsoft, 
and loads of others as well, including also IBM. The other thing as well is, is that Cypherium is the only blockchain using the consensus protocol now that Libra token has stepped away. And that's another thing as well with Libra token, all the hype was around Libra token and Facebook's Libra and it's all gone away. And Cypherium has stepped into that limelight and it's taking advantage of that as well. Another thing we'd like to talk about is the team. It's got a strong team behind it and you can also check out their bios on the Cypherium website itself. They're very engaging as well, which is all good stuff to see. I'll leave this all linked down in the description below. It's really interesting. They have their token sale coming up very soon, so make sure that you join that as well. You may be asking yourself, what is the use case behind Cypherium? They demonstrated through their tech a high profile use case with Randstad, one of the world's largest HR providers. And I don't know if you use Randstad before, but it's a big platform and it's also intricate to use. So the fact that Cypherium is being implemented and also being used in technology by Randstad itself, it's really separating itself from the competition there as well. You can see details published on the Google Cloud platform. And also recently, they've also entered into the MOU with Suzhou City to help develop a, a municipal blockchain infrastructure. And they've got a lot of good stuff happening in the future. So they've got a good roadmap, they've got a good team, and also they have use case, which again, separates itself from the competition and which is why it's a key project that we look into as well. So their public token sale, it's on right now. The deposits will be accepted for the 16th and 23rd of September and make sure that you check them out. I'll leave all the necessary links down in the description below so you can check it out for yourselves in further detail. Now onto the rest of the video. So looking into Bitcoin where it's going in the next few weeks and also months, it's interesting to see that Bitcoin had this massive red candle. You can see I'm using the daily chart at the moment and you can also see here it rejected the $12,000 region. So it's now going around and consolidated around the $10,000 region. And my expectation is that there will be some sort of consolidation further on. And then there'll be sort of a certain trend line upwards into the $12,000 region again. My targets right now are set to the $11,300 region for Bitcoin. And it's only a matter of time until it hits that, in my opinion. Do let me know what you think down in the comments below about what I've been talking about today. I'll be very interested to hear what you guys have to say about the institutional interest in Bitcoin and in crypto, in my analysis into Bitcoin itself, and also what you think about what I think about crypto in general. The next thing I have for you guys here is that Germany cracks down on Bitcoin ATM regulations. And again, I've been talking about this in previous videos. Better regulation means more adoption. And the reason why I say this, not more regulation, but instead better regulation, is because you can have regulation for the sake of regulation, and that doesn't help anybody, but you can also have better regulation. So really looking into what can crypto do? How can it be a better use case in the real world? And, you know, by governments looking into this, by having certain groups to look into this as well, report back to the government, that's all helpful stuff. Because at the end of the day, crypto market right now, it is very much like a Wild West. So the fact that governments need to look into this, look further into this as well, and also really look into what they can do and what crypto can do for them as well. It is a key thing there. The fact that Germany cracked down on Bitcoin and ATM regulations is interesting to see, but I do think, you know, the further we go through 2020 and going into 2021, I do think more governments around the world will be more interested in crypto and seeing what it could do for them as well. Because there's a lot of governments out there, a lot of countries out there that are in serious amounts of debt. And so that is a key thing that you have to look into. One way to consolidate your debts is to inflate your currency and to have a thing called hyperinflation. And so with that may become, you know, some sort of interest rates going up. And for some people that may not be good. They like Bitcoin being a hedge against hyperinflation. I've got some VeChain analysis here for you guys. Now, this is quite interesting. The green line I have for you right here is a line I've put on a few days ago. And you can see here that the daily candlesticks are closing just on this green line. So for me, that's accurate technical analysis in my eyes. Um, I do think it's pretty good. And also on top of that, the EMAs, the candlesticks are closing above the 200 EMAs at the moment. So in my eyes, there is still that bullish sentiment there, which is great stuff to see. So if it were to close above the 100 moving day average, then I do think we will be into new territory for VeChain itself. Now, interesting, I do also want to mention Chainlink as well. Chainlink is also closing above the 200 EMA at the moment and also Polkadot as well. They're closing above the 200 EMA. So there's is interesting times right now. When it comes to technical analysis for Polkadot, it's relatively new because it went onto its mainnet. So we do need more time uh, to look back in history and see what happens or what could happen for Polkadot in the future. So it is only a matter of time for Polkadot to see that real good technical analysis behind it. So it's interesting times for Polkadot at the moment. I do think more partnerships are needed, but I do think it is in an interesting position right now. And I'll be doing more videos on Polkadot in the future. So to recap on this video, there is more institutional interest 
And I do think Bitcoin can reach the $11,300 region by the end of this month. We do have that giveaway, that three slot giveaway, not one, not two, but three slots on our VLB coin calls. So to join that, to enter the giveaway, you must be subscribed. You must also comment down below what is your best crypto investment and why. And also you must follow Josh on Instagram. I'll leave his link down in the description below. So you must follow myself on Twitter. You can see here, Tom underscore Busby one. And that is the way to enter the Crypto Busy VIP coin calls giveaway. We have three slots that we're going to give away and we'll be announcing the winner at some point next week. So stay tuned for that as well. And we'd love to see you guys join this competition. So there's all good stuff there to see as well. I'll also leave down the Cypherium link in the description below. So you can check it out for yourselves in further detail. A lot of interesting stuff and I'd love to know what you guys have to say all about that. So again, the institutional interest, it's growing and it's also the hype between 2020 and 2017 is similar. And also on top of that, the price action for Bitcoin is good and also for VeChain as well and for Chainlink and for Polkadot as well. It's all good stuff to see there. So make sure to subscribe to the Crypto Busy channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.